What's up guys? Welcome to part three of the Coffee Roaster build series. Um, today we've got some more stuff to work on. So let me show you what we got planned. Um, so one of the things I'd like to take care of is uh, mounting the, the control panel to the side of the roaster. And what I've got here are some PTFE spacers. They're good for up to 500 degrees, so those should be fine. And then the mounting hardware uh, to go with it. And then I need to drill some holes that these will get uh, flush mounted to and then welded actually to the side of the roaster there. And these washers are going to just add some more support for the inside sheet metal of the control panel. And then over here we've got a tiny little DC fan, a 12 volt DC fan, and this little grill that will go on the outside to protect it. Um, and that's just going to help cool all the components inside the control panel. And then one more thing, I have this piece of stainless steel tubing and what I'm going to do with that is drill a hole in the side of the roaster here and that's going to be for the wiring on the heating elements. And I'll just be able to run the wires right through that piece of tubing um, after I weld it into the side of the roaster. And the last thing we've got to do is wire up this uh, little splitter here, um, junction box, whatever you want to call it, to the uh, heating elements. And I've got these little spade terminals, and they're uh, they're high heat. They're for fi for high heat applications. Um, and this is going to be what I need for this application. So uh, let's get started. Alright, I got the heating elements wired up to the terminal block. Before I was calling this a, a splitter, I think I called it a junction block or something, but uh, yeah, the proper term is terminal block. Sometimes I just forget what things are called. Anyway, got these spade terminals crimped on. I tried to solder them, but that didn't work out. I'm not sure what that wire is made of that comes off of the uh, heating elements but it did not like the solder, so I just went ahead and crimped them. But that should still be a pretty solid connection. And then on the bottom there, I'll just run the wires from one of the relays to that, and that'll pretty much take care of it. Thank you. 
Okay, so we got both nuts welded into the side of the frame as well as this tube that will allow for the wiring to the heating elements to pass through it. And they're nice and flush. I went across it with the grinder and knocked down the welds and then put a chamfer on this so it won't chafe the wire or anything. I'm also gonna add a fiberglass sleeve over the wiring so it'll kind of act as like an insulator as well as uh, you know keep the wires from getting abraded by the side of the metal here. And one thing I didn't mention earlier was that I had to mount these leveling feet. So what I did was just drilled a through hole in the tube, the square tube or rectangular tube, and then uh, welded a nut on on each corner. So we got that all taken care of. And one thing we got to do now is mount this cooling fan. This, that's just the, the grill or the cover for it. Here's the fan. So that'll go in the side there. Uh, just slightly above this IEC connector. So we'll get that all laid out and drilled out. I finished up drilling this hole and the mounting holes for the fan and the fan grill. I didn't have a hole saw the right size so I ended up just using a unibit to remove most of the material and then I came back with a carbide burr and then followed up with a drum sander. Let me show you what that looks like. It's just a little attachment that goes on the end of an air tool. This one's a three quarter inch diameter so I just went around there and cleaned up all the burrs and fine-tuned it. You know, it's not perfectly round, but I don't think you'll even notice once everything's mounted on there. So that came out pretty good. Uh, just finished up mounting the fan in the side of the control panel here. You can see, got the grill in there. Kind of cool. I think it's going to look pretty awesome when it's all painted and everything. Uh, the fan goes on the back. You can kind of see it through there. Uh, there it is, just sitting right above where the uh, AC power will come in. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. Here's a look at the control panel now that I've got it all mounted. See I used some button head allen screws. I chose those just so it'd have kind of a rounded head. That way the wiring that's going to eventually be ran through this thing won't chafe on it. You know, just eliminate that possibility. And then you can see the hole in the center. That's going to be where the wiring comes through to power the heating elements. I might end up putting a grommet or something in there. I'm not too sure yet. I kind of just drilled a hole to uh, have a placement there for when I decide what I want to do with it. And if you look in between, you can see those PTFE spacers. So it's not the most rigid mounting, but 
it doesn't really need to be. I never plan to lift it from the control panel or anything like that. And it's also going to have the base, which has the rubber feet. So I'm not super worried about it. But yeah, that pretty much takes care of the control panel mounting. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure to leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more content. And we'll see you on the next one.